Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to my first attempt at posting a video of uh, painting some 40k models. Now, keep in mind, this is not in any way meant to be a guide, because I am brand new to this hobby and have no idea what I'm doing. I just thought it'd be kind of fun for anybody who started out to learn along with me. So step one is to, uh, well, base coat the model, but I already did that without recording it, so uh, sorry about that. Step two, we're going to base coat all of our skin tones. Now at this point it's very important to dip your paintbrush without looking at your palette so that you dip it in the wrong paint. Wait for it. There it is. Yep, now we see it. There you go buddy. But in case you couldn't tell, what we're actually doing is just putting a what turns out to be useless base coat on all of our metallics um, you are gonna notice quickly that my painting style is a mix of flying by the seat of my pants and just blind ambition so we're gonna I'm gonna base coat all of these metallics and then cover up 90% of them and have to redo this later but uh, <laughs> we'll get to that Okay, boys and girls, strap in, because it is lore time. The Mephitic Blight Hauler is well armored in rusting plates, and its blubbery flesh parts can soak up appalling trauma. As it devours the filth and corpse matter carpeting the battlefield, the machine churns the accumulated foulness within its foated innards. The rank gases and miasmal fumes build within the demon engine's gastric boilers until with a wet rasp it spews them forth in billowing clouds. Mythic blight haulers are seen upon the battlefield mostly in groups of two and three. The demon engines bond with each other immediately, hunting as a pack, looking for injured, weak, or fleeing prey that they hunt down like carrion jackals scavenging from the battlefield to provide cover with their gastric fumes for the death guard imagine being an imperial soldier trying to hold back the horrors of the death guard and then seeing these ruthless hunters climb over the hill absolutely terrifying Now at this point, in my weeks and weeks of experience in painting, there is a tip that I got off of a YouTube video actually, um, and I wish that I could remember whose it was, because it was a fantastic tip, and it was don't be afraid to wash your models too early. Um, one, you can achieve a lot of really cool effects this way. But two, it, washing really helps to tie in all of those colors and all of the blends that you're going for. So don't be afraid to wash too early. No, 
I had this super cool idea with this model. Just something to try, and you may try it on your own models to see how it looks and what you think. But thin down your base coat. Thin it down to just above a wash. You want it to be super, super liquidy and thin, and then apply that over your wash. It goes through this really cool effect where the aging is underneath the paint. Now, something else I decided to try with this was to take the base coat that I just thinned down and mix in steadily more and more moot green, building to the center to try and create a nice highlight at the very top of this, where the light would hit it the sharpest. Yes, I forgot to record that. I'm sorry. Let's move on to the flesh. So, using your original flesh base tone, add just a little bit of white and start picking out the raised areas. Careful to avoid any really cool looking effects from the wash. And then add in more and more white as you highlight, but highlight smaller and smaller areas to really pick out those details. Mm -hmm. 